Hello everybody, my name is Void and welcome back to another indie horror game. Today we're going to be playing the Tornok 2. I do not know how to pronounce it, so sorry if I butcher it really hard. But let's go ahead and jump straight into the video without wasting y'all's time. Late one, late one winter polar night, you find yourself un unable to sleep, awoken with a strange uneasy feeling with your mother fast asleep. You decide to move on to the living room with not much to do to start reading an old book you found at the town bookstore earlier that day. Okay. Ooh. Mom. Ma ma Mom, I'm gonna I'm gonna go read the book. Let's see. The Tornanok 2 is an evil creature originating from Alaskan folklore. Its physical form is described as having both human and reindeer characteristics. It has the head of a reindeer, but with a human teeth, which, which wraps around the, its entire face. It has a body of a man, but with hooves for feet. Its skin is pale white but is covered in black fur, and it has eyes that glow in the night. It doesn't even run. Okay. <clears throat> it is said to be especially tall when, it, when it's on its hind legs, it is, and it is capable of walking like a human. However, it is also capable of <clears throat> galloping like a deer and can travel at high speeds in a almost floating manner. Okay, dope. Where's my mom? Spare room. Front door. Mom's room. Bedroom. Hello. Bathroom. Back door. Okay. Just gonna go ahead and go back. Um. Hello. Should probably not disturb the creature. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. The Tornokdu is said to only have seen in the months of November throughout January during these months Alaska experiences a time of darkness. Also known as polar night where the sun cases to rise it is believe that Tornoctu is unable to attack outside of these months due to the weakness of the sun. Once the polar night starts, the Tornoctu is said to be starving and will begin its hunt, invading people's homes and eating them. It is believed that the Tornoctu targets those who build the ho their homes far from others in secluded places. In secluded places, all right. Thus to be in Thus to be in, thus to be safe from an attack, people should live closely to one another. Okay. Well, that's fun. Should I go explore? Mom. There's a scary monster outside, Mom. <gasps> what the fuck? Why is it open? Oh. Close the door. Mom? Oh, that 
was just that's great. <clears throat> a sign Tarnakdu is near is finding snowmen like figures which are said to have faces of the dead and smell like human corpse. It is all it is believed such figures will surround a house before the Tornaktu attacks. Other sign it might be near a exclusive, exclusive feelings of fear or distress with no direct cause. Oh, that's outside. It's outside my house. Okay. Mom, there's something in the chimney. Mom, can you wake up? The Tornaktu also carries a bag made of fur. Which it uses to seal children from the house it attacks. It is unknown where the children go when they are taken. Some say the Tarnaktu eats their soul to attain immortality. Others that it keeps them to eat throughout the rest of the year. Oh. Mom! Mom, please. Tornaktu can die is to starve to death. So when it finds a house to attack, there's nothing that can stun to Johnny game. <laughs> that was funny. It looked weird. Dope shit. Dope shit. I like that game. Uh, since we have more time left, let's go into a different game. Actually, you guys, that's all that time that I have left right now because I have to go to a uh, doctor's appointment. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you didn't, like, subscribe. Dislike if you hate it. Like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see y'all dudes or guys and gals. Sorry. In the next video. Peace out.